It's the beginning of the month, and I know what you all want. You want David Edge back on the show to hear the October edition of the American Retirement Advisor newsletter. Well, he's back this week on 65 and Counting. Well, hi folks, it's David Edge, and it's time to read the American Retirement Advisor newsletter for October 2021. This will be volume 21, issue 10. And on the front page, we always have our article by David P. Schaefer. Boo. Everywhere you look, the media seems to be promoting topics to stir up your fears. From continuing grocery store supply and chip shortages to health and the economy, etc., I don't need to list all those new topics here, as you probably know what I mean. It's so hard to avoid the mainstream press or to tell what's real news anymore. I try to read two or three publications looking for the narratives that look like news and not opinion. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a sense of calm and predictability. I find that in our business, no matter how clients express it, folks want guidance that fosters calm and predictability during their retirement years too. To guide clients navigating toward the calm, we first identify their unique needs and create a plan that provides solutions that accomplish their goals. Retirement planning is not a one-size-fit-all process. Often folks come to us with concepts about how their retirement plans works, and sometimes their concepts actually identify their worries. Did you know folks even consult their doctor for retirement guidance? I found this odd at first, but it's more common than you might think because of the personal relationship they have with their health care provider. They are managing their health, after all. But then I realized a common thread, for instance, in managing your cholesterol and long-term care costs, each professional is an expert in his field. As retirement planners, we have a common interest, you. Your doctor creates a plan for keeping your heart healthy. Your retirement planner creates a plan that keeps your finances healthy. Both professionals take common steps maintaining your health. They identify your needs by asking questions, share how particular options work, and provide base level education so folks can make their own decisions, provide ways for managing the goal, and routine reviews. We understand how folks can get fearful when entering into a new realm such as retirement. It doesn't help when anxiety created by the media trickles into retirement concerns too. Our business is based on calming your fears. We explain options so nothing scares you. I believe in looking at each client as an individual, staying objective and unbiased. I think I'd rather leave the scary booze to the news media. <laughs> Pretty good. That's great, David. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, the next article on the front page is Howl Oween by David Edge. As we enter the fall months, Halloween is the kickoff to the holidays. Most Americans start to get distracted by all the holiday spirit that comes alive this time of year. Kids back in school, football season in full swing, and special meals for a special time of year, and pumpkin spiced everything. Retailers have latched on to Halloween as the start of anything pumpkin, and it continues through Thanksgiving to Christmas. As young kids growing up, Pumpkin pie was about the only pumpkin thing we would get in the fall months. Now it's a literal smorgasbord of whatever you can think of that can be pumpkin flavored. Another seasonal sign that happens in our neck of the woods is the howling of the coyotes at night ramping up as the weather cools down. After 33 years of living near the Scottsdale Sonoran Preserve, we get our fair share of daytime and nocturnal critter visits like skunks, raccoons, owls, javelina, bobcats, and coyotes. The coyote howl is a distinct sound that we never tire of hearing. It calls out Halloween in the desert. Oh, and yes, we're on our guard keeping our pets indoors at night. Nobody wants their pet to turn into a coyote hors d'oeuvre. So enjoy October's entrance, even if that includes pumpkin spice. All right, our next article is Why Am I Me by David Edge. Scary Stuff. When recalling our childhood, scary things seemed a lot more real back when we were young. Whatever scared you made you the you you are today. As kids in the late 50s and 60s, Fridays were when the scary movies came on TV late at night. Of course, no school the next day meant that we were allowed to stay up and watch. Old Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula, Mummy, and Creature from the Black Lagoon films filled our small 19-inch Motorola black-and-white TV screen. 
Three boys sit hypnotized on the couch, huddled together with a bowl of popcorn. Oh, and my proverbial blanket nearby to hide under, under during the terrifying moments. My mom swore I was Linus from the cartoon Peanuts, as everywhere I went I had a blanket. Somehow I felt that blanket would protect me from the scary boogers on the TV and maybe in real life too. After watching one particular scary movie one night, our older brother thought it would be funny to sneak up on my twin and me in the dark and grab us. Of course, it scared the living daylights out of us. So, we plotted our revenge. As our brother quietly laughed himself to sleep, we crept down the hall and got one of our mom's old raincoats and our grandfather's old hat he had given us. I climbed on my twin's shoulders so we would look taller, put on the coat and hat, snuck up beside our brother's bed, and we both started screaming while I was waving my arms wildly. Payback was sweet. So, what was your scary stuff moment? Who was with you? Who did the scare? Was it funny or not? Because whatever it was made you, you. Our next article is by Sharon Groves, and she has our safety article on blood pressure meds and cognition studies. Almost half of Americans are on medication for high blood pressure. High blood pressure can affect the blood flow and damage blood vessels in the brain, risking raising the risk for brain injury and dementia. According to the Alzheimer's Association, there is hope that certain blood pressure drugs can help maintain healthy brain functions. The National Institute on Aging has funded research to help identify which medications are most beneficial for co cognition. Studies in six countries, Canada, Australia, Ireland, Germany, Japan, and the USA, indicate older adults taking blood pressure meds that infuse the blood-brain barrier had better memory recall for up to three years compared to those taking meds that did not infuse the blood-brain barrier. But blood pressure drugs that didn't infuse the blood-brain barrier created better attention skills. These studies are important in helping doctors prescribe blood pressure medications based on the patient's age, health, and risk. Doctors still agree to live by heart-healthy life by exercising regularly, eating a nutritious diet, controlling stress, managing weight, and stop smoking. So if you're diagnosed with high blood pressure, you may want to discuss this study with your doctor. Oh, that was a great article, Sharon. Thank you so much. Uh, our financial tip this much is by Mark Fry. Welcome to October. This month, I thought I would go back to the core of what we all do here at American Retirement Advisors. Our firm is holistic in nature, which means that we help with the entirety of retirement planning, not just insurance or Social Security or just assets and income planning, the entire package. Let me explain our four cornerstone process. Remember, if you only have three legs on a four-legged chair, you might fall. We start with a foundation of health. Nothing else matters if you're not taking care of your health. So first, we decide on health care coverage that fits your budget and lifestyle, either group insurance from work or Medicare with a supplement or an Advantage plan. As most of you know, we favor no one company or plan and present all available in your area. Now, long-term care planning is an insurance and financial hybrid for your holistic plan. On the one hand, it may be a health necessity. On the other, it can certainly drain your accounts quickly if it pays for long-term care facility, assisted living facility, or home health care. Of course, if you qualify for Medicaid, qualifications differ by state, you won't need a long-term care policy. But if your assets disqualify you for Medicaid for long-term care, there are financial strategies that we may be able to deploy or help. Note, you must set up these strategies before needing care. Retirement income planning sets up the overall way you will live, covering reoccurring bills for housing, utility, food, and the like, making sure that you have the extras you want and not run out of money. We answer questions like, should I pay off my house and cars? How much should I leave in the bank? Should I take my Social Security income early or wait? We build comprehensive plans. And those plans do not change anything for the process because the planning that it's the planning that's important. And finally, estate planning. Whether you're of modest means or a Rockefeller, you need a plan. Are your wishes in writing? Do you need a will, a trust, a power of attorney, a living trust? Who gets your money? Who gets your stuff when you die? Your house and cars, your dog. What if you don't die, but you don't care for yourself and you can't speak for yourself anymore? 
who takes care of you and who does that individual know. Not fun to think about, but you need to. It's all part of our complimentary planning process. Everyone's needs are different and their planning will be different too. Ready to meet with your advisor in person or virtually to start the complimentary process? Just give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks, Mark. That was a really good article. And yes, the four squares is available with any of our uh, advisors. We'd be happy to go through those four squares with you and explain things to you to help you make a good plan for retirement. So just give us a call. Okay, our next article is by Laura Lee Drummond and it's Medicare at Work. Making Medicare Guidance and Transition 123 Easy at Work. Do you remember your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? I was pretty lucky to have a mom who was crafty with a sewing machine. So when I asked mom for a colonial girl or a 1920 flapper costume, my, mind, my mom took a simple Butterick dress pattern and whipped up a fantastic one-of-a-kind costume with supplies from our local craft stores. That was back in the 60s, and I still have some of those creations. When I had my daughter, I carried on the same tradition. Only then did I fully embrace the effort mom dedicated to the authenticity of each character she created. Mom managed so well with just our local stores and our library for references. I had, I had the internet to make gathering supplies and ideas so much easier. Making costumes by hand took a lot of time. So early was crucial for having a costume done in time and looking authentic. One year, my daughter was a slice of pizza and her treat bag was a pizza box. Getting organized early is vital for folks retiring at 65 or working past age 65. Before you need your Medicare is the perfect time to consult a certified Medicare planner. By guiding employees to experts early, you help them make confident decisions and they have all their health care path sewn up before they decide to retire. HR professionals already manage many other critical work-related roles, so we are happy to provide a compliant partnership to help transition employees to Medicare because we specialize in it. If you know of a company that would like to have a trusted team member to refer to for Medicare answers rather than just a government website, let us know who to contact or pass our information along to them. So if you're retiring soon and you're on your employer plan and you want to transition to Medicare, give us a call and, Tammy and, and Laura Lee and her team can help you with that. Our next article is the Medicare Moment by Tammy Simler. Moving Madness. With all the things on your plate when you move, it's easy to forget that changes may have to be made to your Medicare plans. This can cause huge issues down the road. You may even wind up having your Medicare Advantage or Part D plan coverage terminated. If that's the case, you may have to wait until the next annual enrollment period to choose a new plan. This will lead to a gap in coverage, unnecessary medical bills, and a late enrollment penalty for being without Part D prescription drug coverage. Don't let this happen to you. Call us before you move. We are licensed in all 50 states. Part D prescription drug plans are state specific. If you move out of state, you must choose a new plan. Medicare Advantage plans are county specific. If you move out of your county, you may need to choose a new plan. Now some plans do cross county lines, but let us check for you. If you're considering moving, let us know right away so we can assist you in choosing a new coverage in your new home service area. You only have two months from the time you officially moved to elect a new Part D prescription drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. If you forgot to notify your insurance company of your move and you receive a termination notice for living outside of your plan's service area, call us right away. You have two months from the date of that letter to choose a new plan. The good news is that Medigap supplement plans move with you. No changes need to be made to them except for updating your address. So, you keep receiving your mail. Some Medigap companies will adjust your monthly premium amount based on your new zip code. That can be good or bad. If you find yourself in a situation where your rate will be going up, give us a call so that we can see if there is a more cost-effective option in your new location. We can help you anywhere you are. So call us anytime, 602-281-3898. We're ready to help make your plan transition 123 easy. Great, Tammy. Good article about moving. So if you move out of your area, you want to contact us before you move so we can review everything and make sure you don't have any hassles. Okay, our last article is the success story of the month 
by David Edge. I can help. We recently met with Donna to review her needs and enroll in Medicare. At the end of the meeting, she expressed her confidence in, that she, in what she wanted to do as far as her health plan choices. However, she had one piece of homework, to enroll in Medicare Parts A and B on her own. We can help with everything but that. We provided Donna with a link to enroll electronically and the 800-772-1213 phone number to Social Security to enroll over the phone. She thought she was all set. A week later, she called our office in a panic. This is Brady. I can help. One of our client care team members answered the phone. Oh, Brady, she explained. I think I really messed up trying to enroll in Medicare. The link took me to Social Security and not Medicare. Brady calmly explained that she had not messed up. The process to enroll in Medicare begins through Social Security, so she was in the right place. Brady remained on the phone with her to assist her step by step, screen by screen, to ensure she was completely comfortable completing her enrollment. Thank you, you made this so easy, she exclaimed. Making things one, two, three easy is what we do, replied Brady. I'm always happy to help. It's comforting for clients to work with a firm that has a client care team that is readily accessible to provide personalized care and create calm when clients need it. Well, great, folks. I hope you enjoyed the reading of the American Retirement Advisor newsletter. And remember, if you need to get the Retirement Advisor newsletter, just call the office and we can add you to the mail list and you can get it electronically or get a hard copy. And oh, by the way, there's always lots of articles and there's always a word search or a crossword puzzle. So enjoy your newsletter. We'll see you next month. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Wow. Great articles this month. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a little thumbs up and subscribe to our page so you get notified when new episodes come out. Follow our page and share with all your friends, but most importantly, have a great week.